Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today I want to share with you 7 tips on how to be more precise in Gravity Designer, how to combine the paths, how to arrange them and how to join the paths with the beyond the pixel perfection here in Gravity Designer. So let's start our tutorial. And guys, if you enjoy it, give it some bob and join Gravity Designer Tutorials group and Gravity Designer Users Group. So tip number one, use your grid guys and you can provide, you can type any value, even hexadecimal, even if it less than one pixel into these fields, width and height, and then align your artwork according to this grid. This is tip number one. Tip number two guys, use your guides, Control alt r command option r to show the rulers let me show you and then you can grab the both horizontal and vertical guides here and align according to these guides third tip be aware about the snapping option into the gravit so there are a bunch of them and uh, what is particularly interesting for us is this option snap to full pixel when you work with the icon and up icon design um, I encourage you to check this option to select this option and turn it on so so you can move your objects only onto the full number of pixels without the hexadecimals if you create if you're about to create the custom illustration uh, some of the hand drawing probably uh, this freehand tool with it, using this freehand tool I encourage you to disable this option and again this snap to shape uh, shapes option is also helps you to align one object into the other uh, with another object and this uh, option snap to pages also helps you to align both object so uh, tip number four guys uh, there are at least four ways how you can zoom your artwork first is to using zoom tool z on your keyboard second is to you uh, in using these controllers on the tools panel you see it here then also with the control plus command plus so you can grab the selection tool select your object then control plus command plus to focus on your object next if you want to more precise scrolling hold control or command on your mac and scroll with the mouse you see it here scroll with the mouse brilliant tips uh, tip number four guys when you have two objects with the borders like i have here now you see when you align one object with another you see this uh, part of this object this tail that extends from both of objects you see it here to get rid of these objects don't forget to visit the borders advanced options so you can find it here this icons near the trash can on the border panel and once you open this panel navigate to these ends options and set it to but you see to get rid of this small tip here that extends of your aligning options next guys one of the most important don't forget to use outline mode of your layers group in order to work with the outline mode you need to create a layers group on the last panel you see this icon on the top left of the last panel click on it to create a layer group it looks like a folder and it has three uh, icons here towards the name of uh, of the layer group so uh, you can lock it you can uh, toggle the visibility make some parts uh, make, make the containing parts invisible and also you can toggle the outline when you work in the outline mode 
the appearance of your object are invisible. So you don't see the border. Uh, you are not distracted with the borders. You are not distracted with the fields and with the effects. So let me, uh, le let me show you. This is so-called outline mode. And you can see I have a problem here. I can align it now. And leave the outline mode by just simply toggling. And you can see it's working like a charm. So guys, I highly encourage you to check all of these tips in Gravity Designer. Subscribe to my channel. Join Gravity Designer Tutorials Group and join Gravity Designer Users Group. And be awesome guys. Have a great day.